In today's climate classroom, when monster hurricanes like Ian come ashore, the inevitable question always comes up. Did climate change cause this? The simple answer to this question is no. Climate change does not cause weather. And strong hurricanes have been around since the dawn of time. But there is a lot of research on how climate change may be influencing hurricanes. So let's break it down one by one. First, does a warmer climate cause more hurricanes? You may be surprised to hear the science says the answer is no. The numbers are actually going down. A study released this summer finds that since the 1800s, storm number has dropped. Now that decline is mostly in weak storms. Now in recent years, there's been a spike in storm number after a lull in the 1970s and 1980s. But a fascinating NOAA study found this spring that decreased air pollution over the Atlantic is responsible for that recent spike. Next, can climate change make storms stronger? The answer is yes. The latest international climate report states it is likely that the global proportion of major hurricanes has increased in the past four decades and the proportion of intense tropical cyclones will continue to increase as global warming increases. That's because water provides more fuel when it's warmer. In the strongest of storms, for each degree of warmer ocean uh, water that we have, a storm can get 10% stronger. Tropical oceans have warmed around two degrees, so intense hurricanes now have the potential to be about 15 miles an hour stronger. Next, are warming waters causing storms to rapidly intensify? Here, the answer also seems to be yes. Over the past six years, all landfalling major hurricanes in the Gulf of Mexico have intensified right before landfall. That's rare and also likely not coincidental. Rapid intensification can cause big problems because it catches people off guard. It happened in Ian when its winds jumped 35 miles an hour in just three hours right before landfall. The scientific consensus says that rapid intensification has increased over the past few decades and that will likely continue into the future. Now lastly, what about rainfall? This is a clear yes. The most direct connection between hurricanes and climate change is extreme rainfall because warmer air holds more moisture. As Hurricane Ian sliced through Florida, it dumped 15 to 20 inches of rain from Northport to Lake Wales, a once in 1,000 year event for our area. A rapid attribution study has already found that warming increased Ian's rainfall by about 10%. For Hurricane Harvey in Texas, that number is estimated to be over 30%. For more Climate Classroom, go to WFLA.com. We'll be right back.